Hello and welcome to How to Vavavoom Your Zoom with me Catrice Horsley and today it's episode four which is all about how to take the despair out of your screen share. This is actually the second time I've recorded because the, the first time the sun was streaming through the window which is very unusual and reflecting on my glasses and and it looked very strange indeed. So now I'm re-recording without my glasses, but I have got my lenses in so I can see you all. So no problems about that. Um, I wanted to start off by telling you something incredibly important. And I should have told you this at the start of the first session and I didn't, so sorry about that. It's the fact that you are already an incredible storyteller. You're already an incredible storyteller. And what I mean by that is every single one of you um, every day tell stories about different things that have happened to you. Some of you will come back from the shops and talk about how somebody jumped in front of you in the queue and they had no courtesy and you wanted to slap them one. And, and your voice will naturally change. You'll use emotional language, you'll use body language, you'll use expression. You'll change the pace and tone of your voice, naturally. Some of you will come back from being out and talk about this delicious little fat baby that you saw that you just wanted to munch. And you're not actually thinking, I need to do my voice like this and my face like this. It, it's natural because it's connected to your emotions. So every single one of you is a brilliant storyteller. And all that I'm doing with these sessions is showing you how you can use that incredible skill in a slightly different environment and format. So just getting that out of the way before we start, you are a brilliant storyteller. Right, the first tip in how to take the despair out of your screen share is all to do with the welcome. <laughs> I was talking to a friend of mine who does a lot of um, online um, meetings and she said that she puts her screen up first. And I was like, what? No, 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 no. You, you can't have your screen up first. Your face has to be the first thing that people see. Do you remember what I said in that first video? Um, it's all about the space and the face. This is the most important thing. If you think about working together in an office, your colleague doesn't come into the office and you hold the screen up in front of them. You greet them. You're human. It's a human interaction. And we are desperate for human interaction at the moment. So when you welcome, make sure it's you that's welcoming people to the meeting, not a screen. Point two, any information you share on the different screens, whether it's statistics or graphs or whatever, it has to mean something. Um, you have to have a story in some way of the meeting. What is the destination of the meeting? What's the big picture? What do you want people to go away with? Every single piece of information has to be linked into that, has to make sense of that. Otherwise, it's just meaningless and directionless. If you give tons and tons and tons of information, where does that leave people? If you give slightly less information and put it in context of the meaning of it for them, that has meaning. And a good way of doing that is using the ABT rule that I spoke about in your story structure episode. Rather than going and this and this and this and this and basically giving a list, if you use the ABT, the and, but, Therefore, it could be and, but, and so as well. Um, it gives that information almost in terms of small narratives. And these statistics came in, but when we looked at them, we saw that these people weren't represented. So we went on to do some more work, and now that's been taken on board. Rather than and these statistics came in, and these people weren't represented, and now the and, but and therefore, or and but and so works much better. So remember, all the information has to be in terms of the big story. Why do they need to know it? Number three, 
flippy flippy equals trippy trippy and not in a good way don't flip too much between your screen share and you and certainly don't do it too quickly put the information up that they need to know and leave it there and be quiet because silence is golden especially when you need to read if you want them to read something then shut up don't talk the amount of times i'm trying to focus on the piece of information that's in front of me and somebody's going and this information blah blah i'm like no, no shut up for a second and let me just read it then after you've given them a minute minimum of silence you can come back to yourself a little bit peaceful a little bit quiet and you can explain what that information means to them in terms of the big story and only give them the information they need only give them the milestones they know don't need to know every single centimeter of the journey that you're going through um, during the meeting just give the milestones we are inundated with information keep it as simple as possible be kind to them and be kind to yourself <clears throat> do not overwhelm them just give the information that is necessary if you do have to give however a big chunk of heavy information own the ptsd this stands for post-traumatic statistical disorder you can even make a joke of it before you share that on the screen and if people laugh a little bit it kind of settles them into being able to take on a big chunk of information if you've gone from information to information to information all of their faces look like this which is kind of like a used tea bag and you don't want that you want information pause digestion what does it mean information pause digestion what does it mean so if you know that there is going to be a big chunk own it if you can make a joke about it do so but otherwise just tell them there's going to be a big chunk of information it's going to be a bit heavy but it's really important in terms of and then link it back to the big picture and what it means to them and finally you lovely lovely people human is professional what do i mean by that I get tired of people saying, oh, you can't be really playful if you're professional, or you can't be funny if you're professional, or you can't be vulnerable if you're professional. Human is professional. As humans, we all cry, we all laugh, we all love, we all fear. That's what connects us. And if we are looking for connection during these digital meetings, then be courageous enough to be vulnerable in front of those people who you're delivering information to. If you're anxious about the tech and you're a bit stressed, own that. Say to them, I'm feeling really anxious and I might get this wrong, but be kind to me, please. And you'll almost hear an exhale because that's what those people need to hear. It allows them to step forward and say, can you be kind to me today as well? Because uh, I'm having a problem with the tech or it was really stressful yesterday and I didn't get the work done. Be courageous enough to be vulnerable. That enables other people to be vulnerable and that makes this connection far more human. We want to be human. We want to be fully human here and able to speak about what we're feeling or if we're stressed or if we don't understand i'm sorry i didn't understand that information could you go slower okay be kind to yourself so that's it um i hope those pointers are going to be useful for you uh, the first one is you're already a brilliant storyteller don't forget it welcome people with your face please you've all got great faces welcoming faces 
use them. Let's try and be as human as we can during this time when we cannot connect as humans. This is our, our only main way. Let's, let's be human with it. Um, link everything into the big story. Think about your meeting in terms of what you want the destination to be. Don't flip too much in between you, the screen, you, the screen too quickly. You make people travel sick. Silence is golden. Only give the milestones. We are in a tsunami of information at the moment. Don't be part of that. Just give them what they need. Be kind to them. Be kind to yourself with that. Own the post-traumatic statistical disorder. Make a joke of it if you can. And finally, be human. Be human. Um, a few people have contacted me to see if I do online coaching or if I do training and workshops online. Um, yes, absolutely I do. And you can contact me through my website, www.narrative4, number four, change.com. Um, the next session is going to be about how you can remember information easily. And then that's probably going to be the last one. Unless any of you have a little area that you'd like me to focus on. And if so, just send me a message through the YouTube channel. So please subscribe to the YouTube channel and please tell me what you think and have a lovely day. And I look forward to seeing you in a week when I share with you handy tips for remembering your information. But I'll make it sound a lot better than that title. Okay, take care. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye for now.